Hey guys, uh, today I did a lot of uh, 1v1s with my new friend Hugh. Uh, I got a lot of 1v1s stored up, and I've been trying other things besides Death Guard. I really, really like Death Guard, but I just wanted to try out uh, everything. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for the intro. Uh, if you're wondering where I got these from, I there's a Discord dedicated to just playing against other people, playing multiplayer. So that's where I got a lot of these from. Uh, I don't know if... I'm not sure if they know I'm going to do these videos. So they might be surprised uh, when it pops up online. But I guess we'll tackle that when it, uh, I guess we'll tackle that when it comes, when it, when it shows up. Uh, I guess we'll start at the bottom, work our way up. I have, like, seven 1v1s, and so I might have to make this a two-parter. Uh, well, some of these are, like, three minutes, so who knows. So, we'll start with, um, the Vrax one. Uh, this one I'm pretty proud of. I did kind of cheese it, but Vrax, as far as I know, does like three 1v1s all the time, and even streams it. So I beat a unification uh, streamer. So let's go ahead and show that off. This is the one I'm probably the most proud of, and then we'll go top to bottom. First one's on Fatamorga. Uh, I thought this would be a really bad Death Guard map because they need a lot of uh, requisition to get going. But it actually turned out to be fine. I think Death Guard, they're not super power heavy. You don't need a lot of pow power with Death Guard, but you do need a lot of requisition to play them. Uh, I think they do alright on any map, but you just need a lot of requisition. So I actually haven't seen it from this angle. I haven't seen it from his view. So I, I want to go back and forth a couple times. Uh, so I think this is my first time playing Death Guard on Fatamorga. So you'll see some decision making here and there. Here I throw out the have fun. Uh, I think you should do that all the time. Oh! I didn't know I could read this. Uh, Hugh, if you ever watch this, uh, you can't talk to the players. Uh, that's something I figured out. Nobody told me. Nobody told me that. So, I'm telling you that now. I, I think I went... I think I went years without knowing you can't talk to the players. Oh, there's another observer. Cool. This is actually new to me. I, I haven't uh, checked it out. So there's going to be a fight soon. Wow, Huey beats me all the time, and he doesn't know how the observer works. Uh, I did put a demon tree here. It kills anything that touches it, so pretty useful. Uh, cultists are actually super good, even without upgrades. Uh, as you can see, the scouts died in like three shots. And the servitor went down in like four shots. So the cultists are no joke. Let's see. It says 18 to 22, but they're like one shotting scouts. So I don't know. So I did use uh, two squads of zombies. 
uh, demon zombies or whatever you want to call them uh, I think that's because uh, these guys come out in four and mine come out in two and they're a lot slower so I just knew death guard would lose that fight so yeah I think that's why I did that I don't remember exactly my decision making and this is first company th stuff I think you can also d use zombies on like fifth company so I do want to try out the other companies uh, there's one that says uh, commanders when the commander is nearby it makes the enemy slower I want to try that one out having a permanent uh, debuff it sounds pretty cool these cultists are still alive somehow I had to use cultists because my actual death guard guys would take forever so right now I think I just right clicked on the space marines and and that's all I really did I just I just right clicked on ever on them let's see they do 22 damage and these guys do 39 and the space marines are constantly taking damage just by being next to them so I, I think maybe the smart thing to do would be actually to fight him instead of running away the more he runs away the more damage he takes so I, I, I think the smart thing to do would, would actually just be to fight it this, this squad of cultists actually took out these marines so these cultists are no joke and I don't plan on making uh, more zombies so after these zombies go down I'm gonna start doing real stuff and like I said, this is the guy who 1v1s like four times a day. So, pretty experienced player. I don't think Space Marine is his main. I don't even know if he has a main because he's a, he has a different uh, race every time. We have the prize. You are and I think after this uh, 1v1, he did beat me with orcs, which I'm not sure if I recorded that or not. The orc one was actually pretty interesting. I actually lasted a lot longer than I thought. I had a really bad start too. Let's see, did he does he have map control? Yeah, it looks like he has map control. I didn't even notice that. So he's using his scouts uh to control the map. I'm using my scouts or I'm using my cultists to uh put pressure. The nar uh the normal activated his ability which slowed these guys down. The normal I can't control, it just did that automatically. And I have a normal here which will kill anything that gets near it. Which is cool. Reinforced scouts, but they're just kinda AFKing. See, these zombies have been getting shot at for six minutes and they're in the yellow. What about these guys? Still in the green. So I don't know. It might not be possible for Space Marine to, to beat this. But I'm not I'm not an expert. Uh ninety two to ten to uh sixty two to zero. Going level two. Uh, I think I wanted a rhino. The death guard rhino is really solid. It's pretty fragile, but it's pretty solid. I use my heal on my zombies, which is very cheesy. Uh, it's going to take these guys even longer to kill them. This listening post is going down. And this turret is doing its thing. My builders uh, are not very tanky. 
It is he did survive a couple shots, but they're not I wouldn't say they're tanky. And my chaos um my plague lord is here to uh help out. And I, I guess my builder is kind of tanky because it's surviving uh, these gunshots. I decided to build this here. Uh, kind of as a assert dominance sort of thing. Uh, if you build a, a building here, they tend to give up. So was, it was kind of a scare tactic. I did kind of cheese them. But yeah, I, I did actually beat the guy who like 1v1s all the time. And if you watch my videos, uh, I do mostly 3v3s. I think I only have like 4 or 5 1v1s on my entire channel. So I did cheese it. Uh, but Death Guard also has access to uh, grenade launchers. So I could just grenade launcher spam. Uh, also one of the companies is, I don't know why, but one of the companies you can pick from, uh, has access to, like, super turrets. So if I wanted to, I can just build these, like, super turrets that, I don't know if they can actually, I don't know if they can deal with it. I don't know if Space Marines can deal with my super turrets. It's kind of funny. One of them is, like, makes your commanders better. And then one of them is like this, which makes, you know, we got all these zombies and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's the end of that one. Um, I think Death Guard has a pretty solid tier 1, pretty solid tier 2. But after that, I think uh, their tier 3 is fine. But I think everybody else's tier 3 is better. It's, you can still win with tier 3, but I, th I just think everybody else's tier 3 is better. So that's that one. Um, that one was kind of cheesy, but I did... I can say I did beat him. I, I met this guy like a week ago. And uh, I ended up uh, beating him. So that was cool. Uh... One more Death Guard one. Oh, this one I was debating on showing you. Uh, I guess I'll show you anyways. This, If you thought that last one was cheesy, this one was also pretty cheesy. Uh, this one I might... I don't know. I'm still debating on whether to show you this one or not. But I don't have a lot of Death Guard footage. So I guess I'll show you this one. After this uh, Death Guard match, I'll show you uh, Space Wolves and Pure uh, Guard. So this is Huey. Uh, I won the won them like I think ten times now. I think I won seven, and he won three. Uh, apparently, he's he keeps saying he's new. And I believe him. But his micro is really solid. So he's a new player with very, very solid uh, micro. And here I think I... Oh yeah, I do go for double zombie. I don't do zombies on uh, big maps. But I just do it on small maps. And the more I play death card, the more I do generator first. Uh, because the only thing I get from the barracks are marines, and the marines aren't great. Uh, Death Guard marines are just not that good. They're really not. If you want the Death Guard marines to be good, you have to upgrade them a lot. Now, even with this very early aggression, this was actually a pretty tough match. Believe it or not. I can become like you, undying one. Also, I don't really think this map is that balanced. Basically, uh... Disease 
have to use your starting resources to win or lose a fight. You're not gonna get. You're not. You're not gonna get enough economy to uh, go to like level two. It's it's pretty hard to go level two on this map. So basically, th this map is decided on how you spend that thousand points. I did try out uh, Space Marine. I actually think Space Marine unification is pretty good. Especially the Force Commander. The Force Commander got a lot better in this mod. So I think uh, I think Space Marines are actually really good. But everyone says they suck. So who am I to judge? All I know is uh, every time I try to fight Thousand Suns, I always lose. So I'm starting to think Thousand Suns is like pretty high up on the food chain. And I'm capping this. Uh, even though this is a mod, uh, the stuff that worked in Soulstorm, it also works here. You will see this sort of stuff in tournaments all the time. Like capping your opponent's uh, point. That's just a tournament thing. I don't get enough resources from this to really matter. The only reason I capped it was to just slow him down. I get the plus six and he doesn't. He actually caps my point, which was pretty funny. And you'll see how bad these uh, plague marines are. I only get two models, and they're not—they're not great. That's kind of why I did a cultist thing. Uh, let's see if if actually fighting the zombies is the right thing to do. Eh, maybe not. Seems like Space Marines took more damage than the zombies. And it's weird because they're the same price. These Space Marines and these zombies are the exact same price. It's weird that it's so, like, one sided. So, yeah, even with this crazy early advantage that I had, I had to uh, try hard. Huey, Huey actually beat me. Uh, the first three times because of, he had that uh, weather effect going on where it was snow all the time and that snow is if, if it's snowing and you're playing death card you're super screwed absolutely super screwed this turn was almost done I feel bad for him he had he had what 47. My economy is crap too, so. You can't have a good economy on this map. You just can't. He was a good sport about it. Um, and I think he did figure out a way to beat that eventually. I'm pretty sure zombies uh, lose the commanders. So if he would have bought a commander during any point during that, I think he would he would have done well. Because the zombies actually lost to uh, one of the weaker commanders in the game. So I think the zombies just don't work on, on commanders. But yeah, it's weird. The zombies and the space marines were the same price, but it was a one-sided fight. So that's strange. And the space marines are actually better in the mod. Uh, I think in Soulstorm they're like 30. 30 damage. And in Unification, they're like 40 damage. So Space Marines are actually better than the mod. Um, so that's 2v1, 1v1s. They're very uh, short. Uh, just zombie spam. I don't do that on every map. And I don't do that all the time. Like I said, I like variety. Which is why I'm going to show you all these 1v1s. Uh, they're the real 1v1s. None of this was planned. I never played these maps before either. I just took a look at the map and I was like, oh, this will probably be a good build order. So, yeah. Um, now for Space Wolves. I think I lose this one. 
but I recorded it anyways, I think. I usually, I think I record everything, just to, for good practice. This one here is pretty bad, because I was typing the whole time. So there's not a lot of playing in this one. But you'll see uh, Space Wolves versus Space Marines, which is interesting. And like I said before, uh, with Space Wolves, you gotta punch your buildings. So you'll, be see, you'll see me punch my buildings a lot. And I found out I can't repair uh, this Chaos Gate. So if you shoot this Chaos Gate, uh, I can't fix it. So that sounds like a pretty big weakness. I kind of want to see Space Marines, because the new Space Marines are pretty solid. Looks like the scouts got nerfed. I think this use in Soulstorm this is 20. Okay, he's not buying anything. Maybe he's typing. But yeah, with Space Wolves, you actually get more money from your buildings than the map. Which is interesting. Eh, yeah, he's still not buying stuff. Yeah, he must have been typing. But, uh, we were just joking that uh, we suck at the game. But, uh, yeah, you actually get more money from your buildings than the map. Which is interesting, because it's kind of like Necrons, where you're guaranteed to have this many resources at this many minutes. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I did tell him that I I like the new Space Marines. Uh, like I said, I don't really like the new sisters. There's not enough changes there for me to be interested. But pretty much every... Pretty much every... Uh, he must be floating like crazy. Oh, no, he's not. Where does money go? There's no way... I have no idea where his money went. You should have a lot more money than this. That's so weird. Maybe he threw the game. I don't know. So I'm sending my guy over to punch his buildings. I figured they weren't defended. And the punch doesn't really do any damage. So it's kind of whatever. And my uh, builder guy is pretty tanky. So I thought he would survive that. But I guess not. He didn't survive that. But yeah, Soulstorm, I think they're 30 damage. I don't know. I guess they are the same. I thought this was... Uh, whatever. I swear it was it was 40 when I looked at it. But in Soulstorm, don't they have uh, 35 That's melee? 39, okay. So yeah, I guess they are the same. I swear they got no. All right, never mind me. I swear they got a buff, but maybe I was just imagining it. Space wolves uh, do higher long range damage, but not by a whole lot. And this was my first time playing, and it seems like Huey knew knew that. You see here, my close range damage is actually not that great. So, props, props to Huey, or props to Hugh. Uh, he probably had no idea what Space Wolves do, and he instantly uh, came up with a plan. And he did take out the squad, so I'm, I'm actually at a huge disadvantage now. So props to him. Another nice thing about Space Wolves is it takes them like five seconds to do their... Uh, listening posts so I don't have to stand there all day and cap this it only takes me like a five seconds or so so that's pretty nice the only thing that sucks about space pulls is you need your builder to do anything and the builder dies a lot 
So that's the one thing that sucks about Space Wolves. I think I punched one of his buildings again, but I forgot to record it. You can't punch your own buildings. So, you'll see that a lot. I'm not sure if I punched... Oh, did I punch it? There we go, I punched it. So every time I punch a building, I get access to like upgrades. But it still costs uh, power and resources to do it. So not only do I have to have uh, a lot of resources, I also have to have, uh, I also have to punch stuff. So it's kind of a pain. He must have went easy on me or threw the game or something, because every time I played him, I usually lose. And I do this exact same thing. Oh well. The one thing I learned about Space Wolves is they're not very power heavy, like Death Guard. Uh, so you can get away with, like, not... You can pretty much focus everything on your, uh, requisition. Instead of spending a lot of money on power, you can just spend everything on requisition. Yeah, I was buying another engineer. You you need your engineers to do anything. They're your most important unit. If you want to uh, get upgrades. And yeah, that's that 1v1. Space Wolf. Uh, it, was, it was a very one-sided fight. Uh, yeah, this guy here uh, is really good. I'll show you later. I'll show you more 1v1s of this guy kicking my butt. He's a very good player. Uh, those games there made him look bad, but he's very so solid. Oh, this one here shows you uh, Space Wolf's early game. Space Wolf's early game is kind of gross. So I'll show you what Space Wolf's early game is like. I don't know why they're called 13th Company. You can just call them Space Wolves. So Huey uh, always hosted, so all this stuff was his idea. So it wasn't... I didn't plan any of this, and we didn't talk about it either. So this is uh, Space Wolf's early game. If you play on a map like this, this is what Space Wolves can do. And like I said, he has good micro. He's not capping his points. Because if he capped his points, he would lose. So, good on him. And he's buying his builder's time. So he's a, he's a good lad. He should probably delete this. But I don't know if he knows how. See, now he's going for the commander. He didn't do that our last games. I don't know if I punched anything. I need to punch stuff to get upgrades. Here I got my commander. And you can see him uh, kiting me. Which good on him. He knows how to kite. He doesn't know how to delete that. But he knows how to kite. So good on him. My engineer is way too expensive for him to die. Uh, my engineer costs the same as this squad. So I, he's just way too expensive for him to die. So I had to get out of there. And even though his stuff is blue, uh, his damage isn't great. Usually when you see something blue, they do high damage. Uh, not for them. 
Yeah, this is Space Wolves like early game. It's kind of gross. I'm still not sure where the plus five power is coming from. I I can't I couldn't tell you. Here I might actually lose my commander because uh, he can just dogpile his army onto my guys. Let's see who's 163. Wow, big difference. Fifteen hundred health, eighteen hundred health. Okay, so he's got less health. I was gonna say two hundred combat damage is pretty nutty. But he's got more health. Here I think I teleport him just to cap this. I don't remember. Oh it was a distraction. That's why I did it. It was a hundred and fifty point distraction. I need to do the I need to distract his soldiers so I could win that fight. If I didn't distract them, see how my health bar is even? And here I join my squad, so my commander gets shot last. This is actually a pretty close fight, even with early game uh and uh you know, early game rush. I think if he dogpiled his soldiers onto my guy, I think he could have won this game, honestly. I was really low on resources. I put my generator there for... I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I think I just did it for fun. And yeah, that's the end of that one. I know a lot of these are short, but I... I don't know. We didn't talk about it. Uh, we we didn't set anything up. So yeah, it's and we're both new at this mod, so we didn't plan anything. So yeah, sorry for those are short. Uh, that's just that really is just the power of, sp of space wolves. Now they're not like super strong or anything like that because they don't get access to vehicles to like tier 3 which requires a lot of punching so they're not I wouldn't say they're overpowered or anything like that they're they're in tier 1 for like 10 minutes so if, if you can easily out tech them and their anti-vehicle is kinda trash Uh, Steel Legion, I think this was my first match against Hugh. You'll see a lot of uh, Space Marine gameplay today. Hugh only plays Space Marine, and he's been asking for advice on online. And I'm not sure why, because he plays Space Marines better than I do. So he understands them. I don't know. So yeah, I think um, this, we didn't chat, we just kind of went at it. He didn't ask me what Steel Legion was. If he did, I would explain it to him. I'm totally okay with uh, him knowing the matchup. If he asked me like what my upgrades were or what my build order was, I, I, I would tell him. Honestly. I'm okay with him knowing that. The build is to conquer. I can tell him his my I can tell him my build order, and I would still, you know, be a fret. In Space Marines, they don't have a lot of choices either. So I guess he expects a rush. Sniper training with, what, one scout? Interesting build order. It's a lot different than his usual stuff. Looks like he canceled the second marine. Oh, now he's got two of them. Huh, usually space marines can buy two scouts and a commander. So... 
maybe the bolt return got a price increase. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I did play Space Springs, but with uh, like infinite economy. So I don't know. So one minute forty, and I got what two, three, three listening posts. What's he got at a minute forty? He's got two. So pretty big difference. He's got like two and a half. I got like three and a half. It's a pretty, pretty big difference, uh, economy-wise. Here I'm getting my third one. I guess he expected a rush, but I don't think you can rush with Steel Legion. I r I really think you can't rush with Steel Legion. There's there's pretty much no way you can. You can like cap and decap, but that's about it. You can't get kills. Here I had to run away from this fight. Uh, this is like a trash unit, Commander? so there's just no way. If he wants this point, you can have it. Here I'm getting grenade launchers. I can only afford a couple of them. And if these guys die, it's kind of whatever. They're like a trash unit. Let's see how much damage the grenade launchers do. Not a lot. Oh, that volley. Huh. I'm getting different results every volley. Weird. The first volley did nothing. The second volley, it, it killed a guy. Area ready for construction. Yeah, very strange. What does Hugh got? Not much. Looks like he really doesn't like commanders. He never goes for commanders. Here I had no idea what was going on. I just saw two of my guys went down. Uh, so I, I got scared and ran away from that. I play this game a lot, but even I don't know what's happening half the time. I just ran away from that. I thought that was a s smart thing to do. Looks like I got infiltration on my builders. I think your builders are probably your best unit. They can fight, they can build, they can put down traps. They're I th and I think I thought I clicked on here, but looks like I missed, which happens a lot. I think I built this just so I can have the commander. You don't need this building. Let's see. What am I going for? Oh, I am going for level 2. Yeah, with Steel Legion, you definitely want a uh, building spam. Or not building spam. Uh, vehicle spam. Their infantry isn't bad. But it's, it's not going to compete with like level 3 units. Let's see how much damage my builders are doing. Not bad, actually. That's actually not bad damage. Another step closer to the victory. Send reinforcements. Yeah, I, I use these guys to scout because I don't have that scan that guard does. I think what I like about uh, Steel Legion is all their units are total trash, but you can make just like an infinite amount of them. Wow, they died instantly. They died in they died in like half a second. That's kind of crazy. New staging ground. First Camara of the game. 
Uh, I don't know if the Camaros are going to do a whole lot, but we'll see. Camaros are actually kind of fragile, so if enough s guys shoot at them, it's going to go down. To build is to conquer. Chimera. When they absolutely have to get there. Six minute level two. That's not bad, right? Six minute level two. Commander on the field. Does he have an armory? No armory. And here I activated the Chimera's ability, which lets me buy a squad for 200. These guys normally cost 100, but I, I use this ability to, to buy a 200 point squ squad. And... Looks like all that bought me was uh, a couple seconds of time. But now he knows yeah, I have vehicles. Let's see. 92 to 20 to 68 to 10. Oh, there he goes. There's the armory. I would have made the armory too at this point. Get some plasma. Here I try to do the same thing again. Here he doesn't micro this for some reason. I think he knew my guys were here, so I don't know. I don't know why there's a blue circle underneath here. That I honestly don't know. Yes, I feel like if how many soldiers are dying, their morale would have broke by now. So I couldn't tell you how that works. Now I do think this commander here is like the worst commander in the game, but as you can see, his commander is already almost dead. So now I have the small advantage. And this commander here only cost me like 100 points, so that's pretty cool. Even with complete map control, I only have like two squads, so... Another step closer to the victory. Yeah, even with complete map control, I don't have a whole lot. And here I'm doing kind of a two prong attack to make him work for it, I guess. He is a good player, so I expected him to uh, deal with this. I think that's the third or fourth servo skull. Buying a servo skull at plus 60. Uh, resources. That's pretty rough. That's like once a minute. Or something. I don't know, he built a turret here. Uh, so now all I have to do... All I, I... I can't really go in. So now I'm forced to kind of sit and wait. This is my heavy weapon team. That's already pretty much dead. I think I run away from the scouts. Here's these assault marines. Looks like he got the sergeant. Let's see who wins this fight. Sergeant went down. Maybe space marines are weak. I, I, I really didn't expect them to go down from uh, just this. I upgraded them uh, so they have like more accuracy and stuff, but I don't think they're, I don't know. Oh yeah, that was a mistake for me. Another squad wipe. And here I think the game crashed or something. When I put these guys down, it like really acted up. Looks like I'm level 3 something. I'm still not sure why these guys are infiltrated. That I, I don't know. I don't know. Trojan ready to help. 
What was pretty cool about Huey is I beat him pretty convincingly. I beat him pretty convincingly in this one. And then the very next match we played, uh, he went toe to toe with me. So, pretty quick learner, if you ask me. And this was my first uh, multiplayer match playing Steel Legion. So I thought for the longest time they were like the worst faction in the game. But they must have gotten buffed or something. Because, as you see, they did pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess these guys are just infiltrated. I don't. I didn't have to buy an upgrade. I didn't have to buy an upgrade for that. So, and I always go infantry doctoring because I just think that's the more fun one. Uh, you can probably do either one, vehicle or. Uh, if you do infantry doctrine, you're kind of forced to buy heavy weapon teams. And if you do vehicle doctrine, you can do. Uh, plasma tanks. So there you go, more uh, action for you. Hugh, Hugh got a lot more kills than me. Um, I had double, no, triple resources. Uh, even with, even with triple, re uh, even with triple resources, I only had like two squads. So it's not a cheap army to play as. So yeah. I haven't got the economy boosts yet. So I have no idea if Seal Legion's economy boost is like crazy high. Um Here we go. This one here is gonna be like a half hour. Uh this one I was like sweating like crazy, and I think I still lost. It's funny, I did the exact same thing on this map, and I won. Or not won. I did the exact same thing on the last match, and Huey like adopted or adapted to it pretty quickly. So props to him. He adapted to my playstyle. Super quick. So, super big props to him. So, this one's gonna be an actual, is to like, level 3 super fight. So, I do pretty much the same build order. To uh, so, nothing. Uh, Unless you, uh, if you want to see the same build order again, th there you go. Uh, builders, uh, generator, uh, no commander. The commander is kind of expensive at this point. Um, and I build the armory. Area ready for construction. Defending objective. The armory is actually, I think, my most expensive building. So buying it right at the start of the game is pretty rough. But I think you have to do it. Because that's just where all your stuff is. Defending objective. Squad deployed. Pretty slow map control. And even with this slow map control, uh, I was really scared to like... If I, if I see any of these space marines around, I had to like run away from that. So... I was really trying to avoid them. I have like trash units, so I was really trying to avoid his uh, army. I think this one's gonna be. I think this one v one is gonna be one of my favorites. I think I'll keep this one for a while. Uh, this was actually a really, really solid match between the two of us. And you'll see how good his micro is. His micro was like better than mine. Wow, fast tier 2. That's the first time I see him do that. Marines have turned 
I did do a six minute tier two. So maybe that's why he's doing that. Scout on legionary action. Two kills already. Battlefield link established. Trying to get a third. New staging ground prepared. Now it's three on three on one squad. See that's good micro. The moment uh, I shot him, he ran away. That's pretty good micro. Setting picket line. And because uh, Steel Legion is vehicle heavy, I often don't upgrade my listening posts. So you won't see upgraded listening posts for a while. Here I think I was just scouting the map. And here, I, I think I was trying to click on here, because I thought this building garrisoned, but I found out the hard way it doesn't garrison. Like, you'll see here. Ah, garrison. Garrison. Nope. This thing has guns, but you can't hide in it. So, yeah, pretty rough. There's some lasers coming out of there. Looks like it's two like full squads. Nice uh, skull probe. This was a good skull probe. It's interesting that he went tier two and made a full tier one army. But it's fine. What am I buying? Commander. And that's it. Oh, I bought this turret. So now he's getting hit from both sides. Squad wipe there. Looks like this turret is just a normal turret, not a crazy strong one. Here I, I couldn't really move my squad. If I move them up here, uh, they'd probably die. So I couldn't really move them. I had to, s I had to stay there. And looks like, yeah, this squad got wiped too. So I think that's three squad wipes in 30 seconds. Which is rough for any army. Even a trash unit army. And here these guys came out way too late. I wanted to try these horses out, and they just went down. They had they had less health than the soldiers, which is weird. I don't even know why this one's shooting. I don't have a guy in it, so I don't know. Oh, the camera moved. There we go. So yeah, you got me on the back foot. Um, I could make grenades right now and grenade this, but would that really do anything? Probably not. I was able to sneak uh, these guys up here, but I think he knew about them somehow. Yeah, so I'm lucky here. I think these guys here are like 80 points. So I just lost like 500 points of guys. So pretty rough. I tried every uh, tier 1 unit. Uh, just got my butt kicked. Here I placed down a mine. But I, but I think he had a... There's a mine there. But I think he has a... You can see it.
And now I'm scared to like check the map. I know this is upgraded. So yeah, I'm pretty scared to check the map out. Oh, the mine did go off. Looks like it did like I don't know, like thirty damage or something. Which is fine. That mine only cost me ten points. So if it did any damage, that's a perk. And I, and I ran away there just to buy time. Uh, if I stood here, uh, that was just a thing to buy me time. Now I did upgrade these posts uh, because I was really floating on power. And now I have no idea what to really buy because I don't know what the I don't know what Steel Legion buys at tier two. I bought those Camaros, but those Camaros weren't that great. The rituals are finished. So I gotta try something else. These vehicles here are awesome. They're just hilarious. What sucks is they're like 50 power each, which is not worth it. I don't think these guys are worth 50 power, but they're still funny. Here I really want to take this out. That way I can get a, a, a footing. Rituals are finished. Cyclops is prepared. But yeah, I, I wasn't able to take it out. I tried though. I really did. We are under fire. I got it down to yellow. Send reinforcements. To build is to conquer. Nope, got it down to red. But yeah, I, I couldn't take it out. That's a spoiler. I tried though. I guess the better thing to do is instead of one of it one at a time, you just kind of do it all at once. The rituals are finished. But I didn't know that, so oh. Well. Yeah, I can't out damage uh, the the repair speed. So, no. Oh well. Does he have any tier two stuff? He's been tier two for a long time. Looks like going tier two backfired on him, uh, because he doesn't have any. I am the Emperor's will. Now he's got a tier two unit. Oh, here's a tier two unit here too. So he bought his first tier two unit at like eight minutes. 86 to 30 to 85. So he's actually got an economy advantage on me. Here I didn't know how to take this out. I really didn't. And my stupid commander was like, ah. I had him like here. So I don't know why he ran. I thought for sure the space screens would get to like here. But oh well. This Dunder sucks. But it was better than the, the Chimeras. So I had to buy it. It might have been better to go sh level 3. Cause this Chimera just, or this Dunder really really sucks. I think I was forced to buy the second gun. Yeah, I bought the second gun. Thunderer, siege tank deployed. Fast forward a bit, because not a lot happens. Stormtroopers, where do you I don't know how he knows not to advance up here. But oh well. Trojan, ready to help. Troopers, where do you need us? He just knew for some somehow. Speed it up a bit. I did take out this listening post. We do kind of a, a base trade here. And here I finally leave my base, but the moment I leave my base, 
he's got rocket launchers. So that sucks. And here I was, I was kind of screwed. Like if I if I bring him back, it would get shot up by the rockets. So it was kind of a lose lose situation here. And here I think I found out I can't repair my vehicles, which would have been great to know before. So now I know he can't. I can't repair my vehicles. I have to repair it with this, and the repair speed is god awful. So I can't unlock uh, anti-vehicle until I buy a certain upgrade, and I didn't know that. So yay me! He's got all these vehicles here, and I can't blow them up until I buy a certain weapon upgrade. And here I was really panicking because I have no idea what to buy at level 2. I'm pretty decent at level 1, but I, I don't know what to buy at level 2. These Space Marines should win this fight unless he messes up. It's weird, it's one squad versus two, but he's got two he's got both squads uh He's got both squads in melee. Fire. Looks like this turret did a lot of work. Yeah, this repair speed is awful. It's almost not even worth it. Fast forward a bit. Here I really panicked because I had no defenses here. I got a lot of power, but I can't really buy anything. Let's see, squad increase, cap increase. I, I think I just decided to buy everything because I just didn't know what to do. Here I bought a turret. I think the moment I build this turret, he gets blown up. So, good micro for him. Kill the worker. And here I think I was planning on doing the same thing to this one. But I think I get spotted somehow. This one! This one upgrades your, like, flamethrowers. And you have to buy it in order to get anti-vehicle, which is the weirdest thing I ever seen. HQ, we are under fire. See, I don't really have an answer for this. We hold an answer for that. And I can't really scout the map anymore, which makes it really difficult for me to make uh, choices. And here, I think I went tier four. But I don't have a spot for it. I guess I could put it here, I guess. Yeah, I just don't really have a spot for it. Yeah, it's turret. It got it down to 50%. That's not bad, I guess. And I got Yurik too. I, I forgot to mention that. I, I panicked, uh, bought him. Here I noticed a weak, you know, weakness, so I just try to take advantage of that. Are 
I don't know if I'll buy Dunderers again. They really seem bad. And they're 300 power. I guess they're my best level 2 unit. They're just not that great. Here it's like super scary. Like what am I going to do about that? I'm doing like no damage with my heavy weapon team. I do like how this is like the Forge World heavy weapon team. So that's pretty cool. It's not the, you know, Imperial Guard one, it's like the Forge World. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, at this point here, it's really hard for me to, um,. push these guys out. Oh, they do have a melee animation. That's neat. Wow, my heavy oven team is doing zero damage. That sucks. This is my um, missionary. He can uh, turn on invincibility. So that's pretty cool. Here I decided to do like a base trade. And there goes my basilisk. Uh, my basilisk came out like, I don't know, like 30 seconds ago. Maybe not even that. And he just instantly knew. I don't know how, but he instantly knew I had a basilisk. So again, props to him for blowing it up. And I'm not even mad. This is impressive. HQ, we are under fire. He's blowing up all my vehicles with assault marines. So props to him. Wow, these assault marines are crazy. I got like three things hitting them. Ready to leave from and I think around now he leaves to go uh, watch the soccer game or something. The build is to conquer. I think I might have actually won this because uh, he's not stopping this and I have my level 4 ready to go. So I think and I could just rebuild like, like over here or rebuild over here. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so what sucks is I went level 4, and I... It wouldn't let me put it here. It wouldn't let me put it anywhere, for some reason. So... That sucks. Hopefully you like that one. Uh... A lot of 1v1s in one video so yeah I was like panic buying a lot uh, I didn't even have time to look at my units to see how much damage they were doing so I have no idea how much damage any of my units were doing like my basilisk I have no idea how much damage that thing does I didn't have time to look at it as soon as it popped out of the factory, it just blew up. So I don't know. Uh, I'll show you one more. I'll show you one more, and then uh, that'll be it. It. I thought about making this a two-parter, but I don't think you guys want to see a two-parter so I don't know that is gross art even for me poor Eldar that is nasty oh my god oh he tore her face apart with her with his mouth I don't know if you guys can see that that's gross. Anyways, um, 
I'm about to play Legion of the Dam, which is pretty interesting army. I don't think I'll ever main them because they're just weird. And Legion of the Dam is super cheesy. That's basically everything they have. Everything they have is cheesy. So this is Legion of Dam. Everything is free at the cost of building health. But as you can see, I have 16,000. So this negative that they have where everything is free except for your building health. Not that big of a deal. You can kind of just spam stuff and nothing really bad happens. So this negative that they keep mentioning that oh you gotta heal the building. Uh, not that big of a deal. Uh, they do get bikes in the first like 30 seconds. Uh, which do, which do 50 damage, 40 to 50 damage. Uh, they do die to like these bikes die to like scouts. And I think something that happens with Legion of Dam is once their morale breaks, the unit just constantly takes damage until they go away. So all you gotta do to defeat these bikes is just morale break them, and they'll just die. So. They're a very weird unit. Very, very strange unit. I think I'll fast forward it. Because uh, everything Legion does takes absolutely forever. They're kind of like Death Guard where everything takes forever. So the thing about Legion is they don't really need map control. Uh, everything is free. So I just put my guys here. Uh, everything is free, so I don't need this stuff. So I do capture these because these are your upgrades. This is where you buy upgrades. So I do capture these ones. Here I teleported my commander. Uh, honestly, not that great of a commander. He's like average, I'd say. And here's uh, sisters. I might show off some sister gameplay. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. Looks like they buffed the blind. Because the blind in Soulstorm was awful. Even with doing 50 damage a second, these level 1 guys uh, just kick my butt. I don't know if I got any kills from this fight. Yeah, so that was not a great effort from me. It was 3 against like 20. But yeah, not a great showing from me. Uh, first actual squad. So that's pretty cool. These guys are slow as dirt. So I'm so glad they can teleport. These they, they they move like one mile per hour. So they kinda need to teleport. You can definitely just out outrun them. They move super slow. Seven minute uh tier two. Sister versus uh space wolves. And all these guys look healthy. So it's it should be a pretty even fight. It's a fair fight. I don't know how I got plasma so quick because uh, I played Space Wolves a lot, and I have no idea how you get plasma how you get uh, plasma that quick unless they went straight to level two. I think plasma is a, is a level two thing, so they must have went they must have went straight to level two. Which requires you to punch stuff. I'm not sure what stuff they punch. So I have no idea. But I couldn't tell you. I played a lot of Space Wolves and I have no idea how you get plasma that quick. See, they move like one mile per hour. You can out. You can totally, totally outrun them. And here I buy all my upgrades. Uh, they reduce the health of your building 
massively, but you still have thousands. The building is super hard to kill. This building here is really, really, really hard to kill. So even though I reduced the health of it ma by a lot, it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, another bad showing. Uh, I think I think I'll lose this fight too. I have no idea if I get any kills out of this. So the weird thing about Legion of the Damned is once their morale breaks, they actually do more damage. But they're, they're taking increased damage. So when their morale breaks, they do more damage, but they're more fragile. If that makes sense. It's like they're a negative cover, if that makes sense. They're very really hard to explain. I have no idea if I got any kills during that fight, because that was just a mess. Let's see, now I got the Rhino. This Rhino has like double the health of a normal normal Rhino. So that's kinda cool. I wasn't uh, controlling it at, at all though. I just didn't bother to control it. Yeah, it looks like Space Wolf was level 2. That explains the plasma. It's really hard to get a uh, economy with them. So I'm not sure how they I'm not sure how they, how they have any of this stuff. Space Wolves don't get vehicles to like level 3. So these vehicles here are actually going to be a huge pain. Even something as small as a speeder. Uh, it's going to be a huge pain for them. Looks like Sisters is level 2. They got Celestians. I bought a Dreadnought. Uh, so I got a Dreadnought. And for some reason I can't get in here and uh, attack this. I don't know if this part of the map is bugged. Uh, I tried to do this with Death Guard too, and I couldn't do it either. So yeah, I think this part of the map is just like bugged or something. And I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, this was just a computer game. And what's funny is Legion of Dam uh, don't care for slag. And Space Wolves, they can't use the slag either. So nobody can use the slag. I still bought, I still uh, built a turret on it. This turret is like a normal turret, it's not like a super one. But I built a turret on the slag uh, for kicks. So my HQ started out at 16,000 health. Now it's at uh, 11,000. So the stronger I get, the easier it is to uh, break this building. If you want to call it a building. It's basically the warp. I don't think I got any kills, but I was able to decap. So again, not a great showing for me. Fast forward a bit. Had to run away. I'm not an expert on Legion of the Dam, so I'm, I was just kind of trying them out. And it seems like the computer is better at Space Wolves than I am. Because they got all this cool stuff. And I can never get that. I'm just buying all the upgrades. Because the enemy is not leaving their base. So I was pretty confident that. Uh, even if. Worst, worst comes to shove. I'll probably still win. 
because they're just not leaving their base. Maybe they're going for a tier 4, I don't know. It's This one here is computer. It's not uh, real people. I would never use Legion against real people. I don't think they would ever win. So here's two squads of these guys who do like 50 damage a second. Tearing right through this building pretty quick. I finally got plasma, so that's cool. Legion of the Dam is kind of hard to talk about. Uh, their only real gimmick is all their units have high numbers, but they can also teleport, and they have this really weird morale uh, system. So they just got all this really weird stuff. Wow, these Terminators died in two seconds. That was nuts. And yeah, I'm almost at uh, maximum cap with two squads. Or maybe, no, uh, I think this is three, yeah, three squads. I'm almost at, I'm at maximum cap with three squads. That's kind of depressing. I have anti-vehicle, but not enough to beat two of them. And uh, I'm taking massive amount of damage now that my morale's broken. So yeah, pretty rough for me. I think I'm going to lose a lot of my army. I feel like this laser weapon on my Dreadnought is bugged or something. Because even when it shoots the vehicles, it doesn't do a whole lot. So I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with that. Legion, uh, Legion has been in unification for years and years and years. So I don't know if they ever touched up on them. Here's reinforcements, but it's just too late. Way, way, way too late. Now I got one squad, one commander, one vehicle. And all of it was free. So that was cool. Yeah, I think of Legion of Dam, you just wa want to always be in their face. Because why not? All your stuff's free. The only thing you're spending is uh, time. So, yeah. My free uh, dreadnought about to go down. And this commander here has a million abilities. So I don't think I'll ever figure this guy out. He's just super, super weird. I got the upgrade, so now most of my army is invisible, or uh, infiltrated, so that's kind of neat. It's very, uh, like, gimmicky, but, yeah. Now I got this land raider, and again, the, the gimmick of Legion is all their stuff has high numbers, so this is like a super, super land raider. Does 300 to 500 which is pretty big jump. And yeah, it has that machine spirit thing where it can uh, last longer. I'll fast forward this because this isn't a super interesting fight. And Legion can teleport everything, so I'm just teleporting all my stuff. Now I'm pretty much uh, maxed out. Uh, this land ra uh, this land raider here, this land raider here, is pretty much my strongest unit. So yeah, this this land raider here is pretty much my strongest unit. 
They don't. Legion of the Dam doesn't get a lot stronger than this. So what you're seeing here now is pretty much maxed out Legion of the Dam. It looks like Space Green only has this one vehicle. I also have a knight in queue. Uh, I have a knight. So if my stuff dies, like if this stuff here blows up, uh, I'm gonna have a knight ready to go. And my my HQ, it went from 16,000 to 5,800 which is a pretty massive drop. And it can go down even further, I think, if I make turrets. If I make turrets, it'll go down even further. And yeah, that's pretty much a win. Uh, they couldn't kill the, the land raider, which is like a super la land raider. And I bought flamethrowers because uh, they always had more guys than me. So that's just a crowd control thing. And this HQ actually goes down in like 20 seconds, which is pretty crazy. And I decided to go ahead and cap these points uh, just to see if I can get my population higher. But I don't know how high the population goes. So that's why I cap these points, even though everything is free. Just to see if it will do anything. If anything will change. And yeah, uh, thanks pretty much. Uh, thanks for watching. I know there was a lot to keep track of, a lot of action, uh, a lot of information on the screen. So, uh, I know this was a lot to go over. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. I think this is going to be my, my, I think this is going to be my last uh, unification video for a while. I don't think I, I can find a bigger highlight than those matches I played. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, in all honesty, I actually don't know how you beat Legion of the Dam. Even if you kill all this stuff, uh, this HQ building does massive damage to anything it touches. So I actually have no idea how to beat Legion. I guess you could decap this and... Uh, Actually, decapping this would do pretty much nothing. So, yeah, I actually don't know. I actually don't know how you would beat Legion, unless you just have a bunch of anti-vehicle just shoot at this, I guess, from a distance. That's the only thing I can think of that can stop uh, Legion. I don't know. I have to play around with them more. As far as I can tell, they don't really have weakness. They don't. Uh, they don't need map control. Uh, your starting listening points is all you need. So once you get your starting listening points, you can just uh, just go in. And this building here has so much health that it, even if they attack it, you can just ignore it. So yeah, I don't actually know how you beat Legion. Um, and yeah. Uh. I think that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know how long this video is. I try to fast forward stuff to make it shorter. So, yeah. Um, next on the list is probably more PS2 stuff. So, stick around for that. And my S How to Play Sister video did well. I could make that a series. If you guys want, uh, I haven't spent 2,000 hours on every faction, 
So some of them are going to be like two hours long, some of them are going to be like a half hour long. So, yeah. Um, I think that does it. I gained zero resources during that game. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, Space Wolves only had 4,000 resources, but they still got a good chunk of kills. So don't count Space Wolves out. Uh, yeah, I think that, that about does it. 96 to 37. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.